Hey guys, it's Julie. I'm with Barrett and Lily. We are headed downtown to our favorite spot uh, at Carroll Creek as it runs through Baker Park right behind the band shell. I love that spot because there are so many distractions. You're just gonna see everything there. Strollers, ducks, bikes, skateboards, people, kids, other dogs. And it's a really perfect walk from Gabby's house to that spot. Maybe a 10 minute walk so we get to practice our healing, which these dogs are doing in tandem now. And then our downstays once we get there. And so it's just the perfect little training outing. We run into just the right amount of distractions. Guys, so here we are in Baker Park. We're right along the canal and I'll just show you, there's so many people out. Um, we're coming up on another dog, a lot of people picnicking. There's two bikes that are about to come by. We've got Barrett and Lily in heel. And let me tell you, when you get to the point where you can tandem heel two dogs through a park, holding two remotes and two leashes while filming and talking, that's pretty awesome. <laughs> I feel like if you can do it with two, you can do it with as many as you can. Anyway, here we go. I'm going to try to get some of this on camera for you. <laughs> Got a bike and a skateboarder that just went by. What we're looking for is just indifference. I don't want them to react at all. Notice we're arcing to the side and giving some space because there's a dog right there. Good job. Lily tried to avoid, that's okay. It's better than the opposite, which is lunging, barking, and that's what she came here doing. There's also a really nice ridgeback right up here, which they can see, but they're ignoring. Stop to talk to a friend and neighbor. Look at that, and they're wearing our shirts. <laughs> Good dogs. So we just have
had a great walk and a great downstay around every distraction you can think of. Now we're walking home. I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's a man and a dog up here on the sidewalk, and I've got my two. So instead of trying to narrowly pass them by on the sidewalk, we're actually going to arc around these cars. This is a situation where I don't want to put my dogs in because I don't know about the other dog. So to be safe, we're just going to arc around. Let them pass on the sidewalk and we pass on the street. Thank you. 